doing things that they like you got to do things that they like by engaging on their post hey my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon here and today we're going to talk about the real secret to growing your know like trust factor or how to grow how to get people to know like and trust you because that's the only way they'll ever buy from you they trust you so we're going to get into that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets so as a marketer you know this you know that you have to get people to trust you because nobody's going to buy from anybody they don't trust and it's called the no like trust factor or k uh what is it k uh, k l t k l t you know ladder or process or or factor right so that's the only way you can get people to trust you is if they like you and the only way for them to like you is they really know you and it's all about being seen and doing the right stuff but what is the real secret to actually getting that done in a way that's quick efficient and honest all right so we're going to get into that before though I want to remind you if you're listening to the audio of this you're going to want to go check out the video at cis406 dot jsgagnon.com because I'm going to be sharing my screen I'm going to be sharing my phone I'm going to be showing you how to get the no like trust factor to grow right because the no like factor is about the number of people say out of a hundred how many people out of a hundred that you can talk to that actually trust you enough to maybe look at your thing or buy your thing right so those are what we're going to be talking about right now so let's get right to it let me share my screen and show you what I'm talking about so when you're looking at say Facebook right you go through your Facebook feed you see posts of people I mean my computer is slow right now but you basically see posts of people and you see come um, and I just actually <laughs> that's kind of funny because I actually just did this exact episode I recorded for 40 minutes and then I realized my mic was off so right now I'm actually checking and make sure my mic is actually on but yeah so you see posts you see people posting so how do you how do you get in front of those people right lots of people talk about posting comment uh, content regularly making sure that you that you uh, engage on other people's stuff making sure you go into groups making sure you you know do the things that you want others to do for you right so you do the the engagement you do the posts you do the contents you do the comments you do the videos you do the lives you do all that stuff so that people get to see you right but the problem is that there's billions of people on Facebook right there's billions of people on social media they don't necessarily all they're not going to see you and even if they see you unless they really like you they're not really going to engage on your stuff they're not going to constantly see you right so how do you uh, fix that right so how do you fix that well you can't fix Facebook right you can't fix Facebook but you can be smart about how you use it now let me show you on my phone here so the same thing and let's enable my phone where is it over here so I'm on Facebook right now right same exact thing I see these posts I see these uh comments but you know what you know what you probably don't even think about is look at this notifications look at that I have notifications this you know every single day I'm actually going to go and look at my notifications and see who commented on my stuff and I'm going to look and look at that so this person these people here commented on my post right so I'm going to engage on these I'm sometimes you know depending on the post I'm actually going to comment on their comments I can actually see right here Melissa commented on my comment and I just I'm gonna like that right so I'm going through my notifications here I'm specifically paying attention for me anyways and this is what I recommend you do too I was specifically paying attention to the ones that have the comments so the the green comment box right so Cecilia here she commented on one of my comments right I commented on her post and she commented back uh Karen here did the same thing so I'm liking her uh, her comment I'm engaging on her engagement right Stephanie Odin over here too um 
and uh, Tracy and Eugene commented on my post right so I mean I can go here and uh you know thanks I'm just gonna actually reply to this thanks it's pretty cool for sure pretty whoops cool for sure okay so I'm just actually uh, you know engaging right so I mean and here's the thing what do people want you to do on Facebook right so you know leaders talk about um leaders talk about going into Facebook right going into Facebook going into groups uh, where's my let's go back here going into groups they talk about going into groups like you know say I'm I'm wanting to work on weight loss I might go to this group here and I might go and engage on stuff comment on things you know get to know people maybe comment on on Kathy's thing here Ashley's thing here uh, you know Madeline here uh Fergus you know all these people that are commenting I might go in here and comment on their stuff right so what's that going to do that's good they're going to get to start to see my my see me you know on their on their posts right or or in the, the the feed right I can I can engage on posts in the feed right I can just like this and, and comment do something some sort of comment and that's one of the secrets is engaging right like I said before right the thing though that you have to be careful is who do you engage on like I mean Christian here who's posting about people talk about freedom he's obviously an online marketer probably right but I I don't really know right I don't really know what kind of thing he's actually um engaged on right so I mean I I I don't really I don't necessarily know and, and you get to know who it is after a while right you get to know after a while who it is that you should be engaging on right I mean <clears throat> people posting about branding and things like that but so say I need I know I learned that this particular group that I'm part of these are all marketers right so this is my target market or maybe you're trying to sell a course you're trying to build a community around around the product or around a network marketing company or anything right you're trying to build that so you're going to go find the groups that people are in that are interested then you're going to go and scroll through the groups and you're going to go comment on the group posts and on things like that and all those things right so you're going to do all that but that's still there's still one piece that's missing the piece that's missing is if you're going to engage on these posts in these groups people are only going to see you engaging on the post in the group right the most powerful powerful thing that you can do with your you know activity on online is to engage on people's profile posts their actual posts that they're posting because they will really appreciate you engaging on their stuff and that's the real secret the real secret is engaging on people's profile but then okay so now you know you got to go engage on people's stuff okay so what do you do you go to your friends list <laughs> and you go look at their so if I go to my page if it'll load is it loading yeah there it is if I go to my page and I click on friends here right I can actually see that I got 4,000 friends and I can go and engage on their on their posts and I can go see but the thing is when I look at this list here I don't even know how Facebook lists this right because I know some of these people like some of my family here right um my mother this section my mother she never posts anything I don't know why it's on the top of the list right um um and some of these other people that I know post but some don't post so and the thing is that say you you get to know your list here this corrode here right I don't know who that is um Brenda G yeah I guess I've seen the name before so lots of these people are people that I just friended recently maybe right or th that aren't so I would go visit their profile right and see whether they're posting something right so now if I go visit Ryan's he posted something April 30th right um you know whatever that is uh, another post here so I can engage on these things right but what if this person isn't posting I'm wasting my time going to their profile going to see if they're posting anything right so how about if you could figure out who to engage with and you know reduce the amount of time you're wasting on finding who to engage with right so this is what I want to talk to you about well this is what I'm using actually let me show you what I'm using so let's go back to my phone here 
oh actually no let's not do uh don't do the phone let's do just right on here so if I go to uh no actually I will do on my phone because on my phone on my phone if I can let me see let me see I want to do something here this can load up Hmm, hmm, over here. Can I just I'm just trying to hold on. Let me pause this because I gotta go figure something out here. All right, so I got that figured out. Okay, so now when you're in here, so this is kind of what I do, right? So over here I've got my tool. And if I go back to here, well, interesting. So this is what happened. Let's go why is this like this? There we go. Okay, so I have my tools here that basically I have my list of people that I need to engage with right so I got this list here I can actually go to say Robert Phillips here and engage on his post I go straight to his profile I don't have to go through a group or go through my friend list or anything like that I go straight to his profile and I can decide whether I want to engage on his post right I see this post right here and he's talking about inflation and just say wow for and I'll just say for so inflation inflation is the worst right is the is the killer all right let's say that there you go so I'm just going to comment on this I go back to this page here back here and I'm going to say I comment on one post I reacted on one post so now what happens is now I get the list uh the, then uh, now I see right here uh, next to Robert Phillips I see that I just visited him it says just now and also updates my total number of visits for the day to 25 where it says today in that red box today 25 34 comments and all that and uh and that allows me every single day to go and engage on the right people and it lets me go to all the posts are in and what I can do too is I can actually go in here and I can say okay show me um show me based on their name based on the what they posted there's all these different options I, I'll show you on the on the computer in a minute but I wanted to show you how I look so what I do here I load I do load more right here I'm just kind of kind of like a little bit um <laughs> distracted a little bit here but here if I keep going like this I just load I want to show you kind of how I do it every day I basically load up the list of users that were active in groups and this is what that is this is the list of people that were active in the groups that I told that I want to look at it it tells me the groups of the people that I actually I'm interested in right so these are if I'm into marketing I will look up groups that are marketers so these are all marketers and over here it shows me how long ago see 63 days ago um 53 days ago 48 days ago so say I want to go well normally what I do is I actually go and visit these people at least once a week so every six and when it's when it reaches six days usually I will go visit but as you can see right here I kind of dropped the ball here because some of them 14 days ago 12 days ago 10 days ago and if I go back now now I'm on the six days ago right so these all these people that I visited six days ago or so I should go visit so then I go but the other thing too you'll notice is there's some notes right there it says no recent posts or it says can't comment or react it says only shares it says no posts no posts or a page <laughs> so that's because I put notes on these profiles so I know that I shouldn't you know go back to them because if they're not posting there's no point in me going to the profile because there won't be anything to comment and react on and the thing you have to realize if you're trying to grow your no like trust factor what you want is you want people to to trust you right B but they won't trust you until they like you and they won't like you until they know you how do you get them to know you is by you showing up in their notifications and this is what this is about if I go here and I click on my notifications right here these these people that are showing up in my notifications I showed up in theirs because I engaged on their posts and that's why they then react on stuff and then I see them in my notification I react back shows back you know and vice versa and all that stuff but the thing is that as you see as they see you in their notifications they start to know you 
knowing you is just seeing you it's just knowing you're there right just like if a, somebody moves into your neighborhood their brand new neighbor you don't know them right you don't know them and you don't like them you don't know them you can't like them if you don't know them right you got to know them first so but if as they you know do things in your neighborhood they they do their lawn and they 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 you see them coming home with their kids from school and you see them playing outside or you see them setting up their a barbecue in the backyard you see them doing things that let you know that you know them you know them right same thing with our Facebook online you gotta be taking action so that you show up in their notifications you can show up in their feed but there's so many other people in the feed that you don't you're not going to notice them unless they comment on your stuff so you want them to see you well you do the same thing go comment on their personal post because that's that's why they're posting on Facebook they want people to engage and to comment on their stuff right that's kind of how it works so if I go and engage on their stuff they're going to see my face in their notifications so they're going to start to know me right so then the next thing that happens is because they see me regularly and because I'm engaging on their posts <laughs> why do people post on Facebook because they want people to see it they want people to engage on it they want people to comment on it to like it to react to it if I'm doing that then I'm automatically going to be liked so that's what you got to do you got to go engage on the other people's stuff so that they like you they'll like you automatically because you're doing things that they want you to do that they appreciate if you start to you know comment on their stuff in groups that's okay but unless you actually have a reason to comment and you have a real good answer you're gonna look you know like a stalker or something right but if you're going to their profile and commenting on public stuff that they're posting because they want people to comment on it they're gonna like you because that's why they're doing it so that's why I don't go and visit posts of people that don't have public stuff plus if I'm not their friend I can't see their 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 non-public stuff so that's okay they don't want that so I'm not going to go and you know engage on their stuff if there's nothing to engage on so that's why I put a note here saying it's not English or or maybe they don't have any recent posts maybe the post the last post there's a year ago there's no sense in going back there so I kind of keep track of that this way right so that's one of the things so the other thing is once they know you and then they like you because they see you often enough and they see what you do is something they appreciate they're going to like you and then after that if they if you keep doing it for a bit right uh, and I'm not saying it takes a day to do this it's no it takes a, a probably a month or two right before they're at the point where they trust you enough that you can actually reach out to them and have a conversation about whatever it is you're want to have a conversation about obviously that is a totally separate skill set that's something you have to learn uh, differently but I'm just saying before you have a conversation with them they should trust you already if they don't already trust you that conversation is not going to go very far I mean I I have people reaching out to me all the time right they're sending me messages hey uh, especially on other platforms on Facebook I'm pretty clear clear there but on other platforms like but anyways whatever the point is you'll get people messaging you to talk about something to offer you something they'll say hey I see you're into a you know whatever online marketing uh uh course sales or whatever and they're gonna say hey I have this thing would you like to take a look if you don't know them if you don't like them then you're not gonna trust them enough to even look at it you're gonna be like you're spamming me right so you don't want to do that I mean sure you'll if you do the numbers right if you do it often enough you're gonna get people that will actually you know you'll get one percent of people looking at stuff but wouldn't you rather have like 50 percent to 80 percent of them look at it you know that's the secret right if you get everybody to look at your thing that's the way you're going to get the sales right okay so I'm <clears throat> going back so now we have this so you want to know okay well where do you get this tool right so this is called active group users it's basically a it's a chrome extension right so all you got to do is you go to this link here let me turn the phone off oh, no, where's the phone the phone the phone the phone okay so you go to activegroupusers.com which will take you to this page activegroupusers.com let me put the link here okay so activegroupusers.com you go to that link and it'll take you to this page right so on this page here basically all it is is a chrome extension you just click on this it'll take you to the chrome store to install it and uh then what happens is once you uh install it 
no, me I already have it installed I just have it disabled because I do a, I have a debugging version but once you go there it'll say it won't say this for you it'll say right here install in chrome you just click the button and installs it then it becomes available here in your list if you click that little puzzle piece this will probably be like this you'll see it here but it won't show up up top right so if you want it to show up up top you just click on this little uh, pin to make it show up on top and then you'll just click it to load up actually I'm logged in now so I'm, I'm going to log off to show you how it looks when you first go there so log out okay so when you first go there and you click it you're going to see this screen it's just going to say enter your access key you're going to be like where do I get that it says find by clicking here so you just click on that and that takes you to the active group users page where you can get your access key so that you need to create an account that's really just click a button to get the account created so you see down here it says you'll first need to click here to register the account so just go ahead and click that and you can actually use a Facebook login what happens is the first time you go when you click this Facebook me I'm already set up so it'll just do it but normally the 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 first time you do it it'll pop up a, a thing that'll kind of show do you accept you know permissions whatever this app wants to do this and then you just approve it and then it's it'll say that registration successful so I'll just reload the page and after you've got your account now you can get your access key so over here you'll see the access key there's going to be a get access key button just click on that and then you can copy to clipboard you don't need to look at it it's just a bunch of mumbo jumbo code just copy the clipboard like this and then you go back to the extension by clicking the icon up top again you're going to get back to this screen and you paste your access key right there and then click the activate button so that's basically the process that you go through to activate it now normally when you first start you have no no groups here right there's nothing here it'll just say please enter a group please enter a, uh yeah it'll just say you must enter it so there's a link here to watch a video it's going to be maybe slightly different when you look at it because this kind of changes a little bit every once in a while and as I improve it uh, but basically what you do is you go to Facebook right and you go to your groups whichever groups your target market is in if you're in weight loss it'll be a weight loss group if you're in the, into online marketing it'll be a marketing group if you're into funnels it'll be a funnel group if you're in email marketing it'll be email marketing if you're into it doesn't matter whatever you're into just go find the groups uh, you can either search for them right or you just go to the groups you're already in uh you there or here there's a bunch of ways to get to it right but you load up your you go to your groups well I guess it went to one group here uh so just click on the groups thing up here to get your this is your groups feed right which means posts in here are all posts from groups right now if you want a specific group you can go in here and you can go find let's say I want to find this click funnels avenger group here that's an an, um, uh, an affiliate group that I'm part of right so you can just take this group here copy it and then go back to the extension and then paste it in the group list you just go here so over here you would just paste it in there and then you would click on that me I already have this group in here so it'll just tell me that I already have it but it will show up down the list here and now you can actually use the tool to scrape the data so what the tool does is it goes into these groups all these groups whichever groups you've got in your list it goes to those groups and it goes and finds the people that are actually active in the group so the people that are actually posting and commenting in the group right then it gives you the list like showed you earlier that list of all the people right and you can click on view data right here to actually go and and see the list of whatever it found so after it's finished right so after it's finished doing its scraping you're going to see this list here and then you're going to be able to do what I showed you earlier you just go to each of these names you know just go to the to this post here and it goes to Facebook and then that takes you straight to their profile so you can actually see what they're about and you can actually engage on their posts right so you don't have to waste time navigating the, the group and the group profile and then the group posts and all that so in this case this person here is not active she posted something while well, she added a temporary profile picture June 16 June 26 2020 which is a while ago right two years ago almost and so I'm in this case this is kind of what I do I close this up 
and I go back to where I was and I just say not no recent posts so that's just me you do what however you want to use it you put whatever notes you want but this allows me to see when I click on this I can see right here this post that I just went to Marzina here no recent post so that means that next time that this name shows up in my in the list of names I'm going to know that I don't I don't need to go go check her profile she she hasn't posted I mean it could change but still when you're trying to focus you got to focus on the people that are actually active so you can actually go to their posts and you know you can kind of see what they're all about right if I go to this one uh, <laughs> I have no idea right these are just people that I just recently found in groups I have no idea whether they're actually active or not whether they're but the thing is that this tool lets you focus on the ones that are active by actually going so this person here she's got one post from April 21st and Facebook is just loading it's kind of slow uh, she's got other posts here so I could you know I could comment on these posts just because that's kind of what you do right you comment on the posts and then you just end register here how many posts you commented on how many posts you reacted on so that then it registers it over here uh by by their name the numbers that are right here these numbers one zero zero right now because I visited her once whoops I should uh, I visited her once and if I go and I sort by say for example the visitors here I can actually see how many people if I wait for it to load and then I do the reverse because I want to see the total visits right so these people here I visited many times right over the over the use of the tool right if I go to this one you can see right here the the post you can see the comments uh let's turn off this URL so you can see the post you can see the comments right right over here and you can also see their profile depending on the whether they were fetched or not um you can see the profile pictures and all that so that information is all there but then you can decide whether you want to visit see this was visited six days ago I can actually go to Stacey Hall's uh, profile just by clicking here and then take me straight to her profile on Facebook although right now my computer is kind of slow it must have lots of stuff going on uh, maybe I should close this guy up here I don't need the phone anymore let's close that that might help so you know this is Stacy's post I would go in here and look at this December no oh, that's a pin post so her recent post is this one here she posted uh, you wonder and I'm just going to react to this and kind of show you what I do afterwards if this can load up here load up load up there we go knowing knowing we are on track yes. there we go okay and then I can say over here another post uh, Saturday wow I'll just say you know wow looks like a great time so now I'm posting I'm commenting on her profile stuff which you know is what she wants these anybody who's doing posting on Facebook they want people to engage on their stuff right and um the honesty and I'm just gonna comment on this one absolutely honesty is the best policy right so there so now I commented on three posts I close this tab and I go back here and I say I commented on three posts I reacted on three posts and then I save it so now the other thing you can see now it says just now and also says that I visit her 16 times now 21 reactions and 19 comments if I click on it again it'll show you if I scroll down here it'll show you how many visits right how many days I did the visits uh, how many comments how many reactions and all that stuff and I can actually add other things like I can say is this a hot lead is it active is it dropped is it invalid what's their temperature hot cold warm and I can actually add her email if I get it I just even a phone number all that stuff if I want it's really meant for uh it's it's really meant for just tracking who you visited and whether you engage on them or not but you can use it for those other things too if you want right um and yeah so that's kind of how you use this tool and uh let's see now if if you 
what else can I say so I mean like I said you can see what the posts are over here you can see if I load more you can load more and you can you can see these people have posted you can actually sort you can sort by the name you can sort by the note by visited by the time you can sort by the what whether it's a comment or a post and you can sort by the groups as well if you wanted to just see the groups um or you wanted to see whether you visited them or not you just click on this and short search by the visited thing right so not yet not yet not yet not yet right so these are all people I haven't visited yet which I could you know visit right now but I kind of try to do every six days or so after six days I visit them again and then after visiting them for probably five to seven times which basically would be two months right um, then I can actually maybe send them a message and they'll be much more open to hearing about me because they will have seen me so they will know me and most likely will like me because I've been engaging on their stuff and this is what you want you want them to know like you so that they can trust you right and this is the real secret the real secret to getting your no like trust to go up is by engaging on their stuff and showing them what showing doing things that they like you got to do things that they like by engaging on their posts on Facebook but you know how do you find the right people right this is what the tool does all right hopefully you enjoyed and if you have any questions always you can reach out have yourself a great day see you in the next one this has been Course Income Secrets, the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon, until next time.